Yo, welcome back to the channel. This is just a little update on the spring sale that I was running. Um, if you guys remember one of the last beat selling videos, we talk about the sales tracker and um, the importance of understanding your customer behavior and like buying trends essentially. If you remember the last time I told you that this month and uh, between January and, and April last year for me, it was really bad. It was like the coldest period of um, my sales. And so that my target was if I got at least one or two sales this month or by running my sales campaign, um, we could consider it a success. So as you can see here, um, I did gain like some sales, which is pretty good. Um, definitely a lot better than last year, which means I think I can consider this like sales like success. Funnily enough, like they didn't actually even use the sales code. The two customers that bought the beads from me, they bought it straight up full price. As you can see, they came from my main player, which means they came from my website. I have like a huge ass banner saying use this code to get 40% off. So I, I find it kind of strange that they didn't use it. Like both of them didn't use it. Both customers bought my tracks like without a discount, but they did come from the sales campaign because one of them even replied one of the emails I sent out during the sales period. So clearly he came in the sales campaign. I just think it's like a little bit funny that they didn't use the coupon code, which I've asked like some other people that I know who also sells beats and they do find that it happens as well. So last week, I also got, just to update you guys, I also got an invoice sale, which means it's like a direct contact. Like I got someone contacted me for to make something for them. And yeah, we agreed on a price that is like $350, which it's not really that high, but you know, a win is a win. So we'll count that. So overall, as you can see here, I am making pretty good progress from last year. I think the only no money week that I've had this year is this week eight, which is um, between the 19th of February and 25th of February. And I think that's the only week that I haven't had a sale, which I think I can count as a success because it's definitely an improvement that I, I've seen over and over time. Yeah, I guess I just wanted to give you like a small update of this because as you can see, it's extremely important for you to kind of track your sales and understand customer data because you know when to run a, spe a specific sale. And my sale isn't ended yet. This is active campaign for you. If you want to understand, let me know down in the comments and I'll maybe make a more in-depth video. But essentially this is the software that I use to kind of create like your sales, your spring sale automation that kind of sends out emails to like everyone. So a lot of businesses use this. And again, we are a business. So this is um, extremely essential. So yeah, I, I still have a couple more days. I think it's like two or three more days of the sales left. But essentially after a week of this, I guess I can kind of consider this a success because I got two, three sales, which is more than last year. And I suppose we'll see what will happen during the last two weeks of the dry period. I think this is important for us musicians to kind of understand the business side of things so that we can eventually turn this into our careers, right? Um, and I know a lot of musicians struggle with that. I bought some stuff to really improve my recording. So I hope you're looking forward to that and I'll see you next week. Peace.